In question 6, we're told the straight line L1 passes through the points minus 1, comma 3 and 11, comma 12. In part A, we need to find an equation for L1 in the form AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0, where A, B and C are integers. The question carries four marks. For the equation of a straight line, we need two things. We need a point that it passes through, and we've got two of them here, and also a gradient. I'm going to choose this point here, and all I need to do now is find a gradient. So I'm going to take my point to be minus 1, comma 3, and just finding now the gradient, the gradient is the change in y over the change in x. So 12 minus 3 over 11 minus minus 1. So in the numerator, I'm going to have 9. In the denominator, I'm going to have 12. We can divide numerator and denominator by 3, which will give me 3 over 4. We have a point that it goes through and a gradient, so we simply need to sub this into the equation of a straight line. I'm going to use y minus y1 is equal to m, the gradient, multiplied by x minus x1. You can, of course, at this stage, use y is equal to mx plus c. So we'll have y minus 3 will be equal to 3 quarters multiplied by the quantity x minus minus 1, which is x plus 1. I need to put this in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 4. 4y minus 12, then expanding the brackets on the right, we'll have 3x plus 3. I'm going to subtract 4y from both sides and add 12. That will give me 0 is equal to 3x minus 4y plus 15. So that is an equation for line L1 in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b and c integers. We're now told the line L2 has equation 3y plus 4x minus 30 is equal to 0. In part b, we need to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of L1 and L2. We're offered three marks for this question. This is a straightforward linear simultaneous equation. So we have now 3y plus 4x minus 30 is equal to 0, and I'll call that one equation 1. And we have equation 2, which is going to be 3x minus 4y plus 15 is equal to 0. At this stage, we've got lots of different choices. What I'm going to do here is simply go ahead now and multiply the top equation by 4 and the bottom equation by 3. So equation 1 will become 12y plus 16x minus 120 will be equal to 0. Equation 2 will become 9x minus 12y plus 45 is equal to 0. You might see these slightly easier if we wrote this now as 16x for equation 1. We don't have to do this. 16x plus 12y is equal to 120. And for equation 2, we could write this now as 9x minus 12y is equal to minus 45. We can see now the coefficient of a term in y is the same. We've got a different sign, so we're going to add these two to eliminate y. So if I add now 1 plus 2, I'm going to have 25x. Those two will cancel, and this is going to leave me 75. So we can divide both sides by 25 to get x is equal to 3. I can substitute this back into either equation. I'm just going to put it through equation 1. And we can see now that 3y plus 4 lots of x, which is going to give me 4 lots of 3, is going to be equal now to 30. So if I now subtract 12 from both sides, we have 3y will be equal to 18. And we can see that y is equal to 6. So we solve for x and y, 3 marks in total. There are lots of different approaches to that one. I'm not suggesting that's the most efficient or effective, but it's one of the many options to score three marks.